will the Orion XS remember all of its settings if you completely disconnect it from both sides? Hi folks, I'm Roger from Wolfgrid and uh, I received a phone call from somebody who is quite interested in using an Orion XS in his caravan. So he will need to reduce the charge rate to probably about 20 amps because your 7 or 13 pin connectors can only handle around about 18 to 20 amps. So I think just over 20 amps. Anyway, he is quite keen to use this, but he is uh, justifiably really concerned that if he pulls power from both sides, from both the starter battery and the leisure battery, so completely pull the power from here, that it will basically reset and lose its settings. So his, his exact question was, does it use some form of flash memory that when I completely pull power, it'll remember all the settings, and when I plug it back in, it's not going to try and charge at 50 amps, thereby blowing lots of things. So you imagine trying to run 50 amps through a standard 7-pin or 13-pin connector, or those caravan plugs. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to get onto this now with the app, and we're going to make some changes to the settings. Uh, currently, this is, I think, on fairly standard settings, but let's change these now and get to it. Right, here I am on the app, about to uh, make these changes. So in this, well, first I'm gonna get my specs so that I can see properly. Right, and let's go to the, so it's in charger mode, as we can see, charger is enabled. And in particular, I'm going to limit the input current. So I'm gonna limit both of them. So I'm gonna limit this to, to 18 amps so that we are slightly below the settings that, and I'm gonna put the output, that can be 20 amps, so that's fine. So I've limited the input to 18 and the output to 20. The battery is a, whatever this is, so let's actually choose, so, Select preset and we go do right down to the bottom. Choose Life PO4. So that's at 14.2 volts. That's cool. The engine shutdown detection is uh, disabled for some reason. I think we were testing something out. So I'm going to change this to just to make it easy. I'll leave it at 14 because the uh, test rig will make sure that it's 14. So its start voltage is at 14 for a regular alternator in this case. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change this to 13.8 because 14 is the standard. So let's see if it remembers 13.8. So 13.8 and the delayed, I'm gonna change that to 13.6 just to, oops, something went wrong there. 13.8 and 13.6. There we are, 13.8 and 13.6, that's cool. That's our engine shutdown <coughs> modified. There's no ways I'm gonna change the input voltage lockout. You shouldn't really mess around with that unless you uh, really know that your alternate is okay. So those are the settings there, and we will, it's currently turned off. Um, and I'm going to turn this charger on. So what I've got, over here is I've got a charger to simulate a, uh, an alternator. So we haven't actually connected this to a vehicle. So it has uh, triggered on now. So it's actually pulling 17 amps off there. And when I look at this, I can see that the input current is at 90.7 and the, uh, sorry, the output is at 19.6 uh, and the input current is at 18.4, so that's cool. So <clears throat> in, a, in a caravan setting, this would be perfect uh, for what he wants to do. And I let that run for a short while, and then we're going to pull all of the power. So I'm going to uh, go out of this in a moment, and let's pull all of the power. So wake up our screen. So let's turn the charger off now. And uh, very important, turn your solar off because if we turn everything else off and we leave the solar on, it's still going to have some power in there. And sometimes maybe not enough to actually run it, so you could potentially blow some things. So there's our solar, our solar controller is off now. And finally, we're going to pull the power from the battery. So everything. Yeah. 
uh, uh, it would help if I would help if I turned the mains off. <laughs> I was busy wondering why on earth nothing turned off there. Um, so mains are off. Solar uh, panels are d isolated. The, um, the, ch the alternator simulator is off and the batteries are is isolated. So everything is off. And as you can see on my phone, it's trying to connect but not managing. So uh, this is now not in view. I can see it's not in view anymore. So everything totally off. Now let's uh, start putting everything back on. I'm going to start by putting the uh, uh, reconnecting the batteries through our isolator here. At the same time I'm going to bring back the mains. I may as well bring back the solar panels as well. And uh, this will fire up in just a short while. We can see blue light flashing here. So the excess has come back in line. And when I check here, and let's see what settings there are. So if I go see the input current is still set to 18 and the output current is still set to 20. So that's a good thing. The battery is still set to live PO4. And the engine shutdown is still set to 13.8 and 13.6. So very definitely it retained all of the settings in between. Well, during the complete uh, power out, it has retained all of its settings. So I would say for the gentleman who wants to use this in his caravan, setting it down to the amperages that we have just set to, it's completely safe to do that. So, yeah. Go ahead and use that in your caravan. Disconnect it completely, reconnect it. It will remember the settings as we've just seen. So thanks for watching, folks. Hopefully uh, that is useful. A nice, short, sweet uh, video this week. Uh, but, but an intriguing question that uh, I'm sure that at least one person will appreciate uh, watching this to see what the answer is. And we'll probably make a decision to get an excess. So... Remember that the Orion XS is still on pre-order with us at a reduced price. Uh, the link is down below. So that will come to an end as soon as we start receiving the shipments. Uh, then it'll go to its normal price. So uh, jump jump on the, on the bandwagon and, and get yourself a deal while you can. So we'll see you in the next episode and thanks for watching.